Good morning folks, it's your boy Richard Richard. Today in this video, uh, I am going to be doing another car explanation video, uh, for, uh, this video. Um, so, as you guys probably seen in my last car explanation, car explanation, uh, video, I recently did info on the, uh, where is, where is, where is it? I'll find it somewhere real quick. Hold on. There it is. I got it right here. Bingo. Um. I recently did info on the mighty uh, 2009 uh, Local Motors Rally Fighter recently. So uh, here it is. This was the last uh, car that I did before I did info on the uh, road laws in, in uh, Canada, Arizona, and California. So these are the ones I've completed. Um, and then after that, I realized I had a lot of uh, cars that I did but i never had the chance to do a video on them whatsoever like i had not had a chance so i figured i go back to those and do a video on them so i figured uh, it would be perfect to do so and then after i done those i'll move on to the current topics i'm currently doing for the cards because i got a lot of info to do and uh, yeah as you guys probably see i'm wearing a hoodie and a, a scarf which you would think is a mask but it's technically a scarf so you just put Basically, uh, I'll just, <gasps> whew, thank God I can breathe. So, uh, so basically, um, how this it like, it's not the usual scarf which just wrap around, but it's kind of like a, like a, this kind of scarf, which is basically put over your head, like so. Kind of looks like I'm wearing a hat almost, but meh. And you just put it down like so. Sorry if I'm... I look like I'm in an 80s rock band, almost. And then what I did also, I put the hoodie up. You guys think I would look like, you know, some kind of, uh, like, you know, kind of like a robber or something? But technically, I dressed up as Alan Walker, the Norwegian DJ. Because, uh, you know, I figured it would be kind of cool, you know, to do so. It would be kind of cool just to do so. And it is cold in here. My hands are freezing. God, I sound like Darth Vader right now. Anyways, uh... Ow. 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 God. Said, no. Whatever you guys do, don't do this. Because... Uh, you can actually hurt your fingers like this. Because when you grow older, your fingers will start to ache if you keep clicking them. So, my recommendation, don't do it at all. I just do it because, uh, I feel kind of stiff. Like, the fingers kind of feel stiff, and I can't, can't move them that well. And, uh, you know, so I had to do it. But, yeah, um, with that being said, uh, let's get back to business right now. So, what I'm going to talk about today is the, uh, is, uh, oh, God, hold on, there I go. Uh, so the topic I'm talking about today is, well, uh, I'm going to be doing another car explanation video, um, the car will... It's kind of, uh, it's technically a truck. Uh, it's a pickup truck that I figured, you know, would be kind of cool to do so. And so, yeah, uh, without any further ado, let's get started before we do. Uh, make, sure you, make sure you guys like the video. Can't breathe. So like the video, subscribe, comment below what you guys think, hit that notification bell, and hit all to be alerted when I make new uploads. So, what I'm going to talk about today is... Uh, the truck I'm talking about is the mighty GMC Cyclone. This is the kind of truck I've been always into, uh, specifically because it was in um, the movie Bennett's War in 2019, it was? Yeah, 20, 2019, it came out recently, uh, around four years ago, roughly around four years ago. Getting up to five, because very soon it'll be the end of 2023, and the start of 2024. So this is going to be pretty cool. And so yeah, uh, without any further ado, Let's get started before we do. Like the video. So like the like the video. Subscribe. Comment below what you guys think. Hit that no notification bell. And hit all so you're alerted of when I make new uploads. So without any further ado, let's get cracking. So here we go. I'm going to put this up because it's getting cold. Back into walker mode. Here we go. Um, 
So let's do it. Um, so the track I'm talking about is the GMC Cyclone. Here we go. Uh, the GMC Cyclone. I can't talk. Oh my god. So the, I'm talking about the GMC Cyclone. I'll just put this down because I can't really hear myself talk properly. And uh, yeah. I feel like I'm mumbling too much. So let's get this over. Here we go. So the GMC Cyclone is a high performance version of the of the GMC um, Sonoma pickup truck. That's right, Sonoma pickup truck, produced in nineteen ninety one by GMC. It's so produced in nineteen ninety one by GMC, along with PAS or PAS, which stands for Production Automotive Services. The same com the same company uh, uh, credited with building uh, the famed. 1989 Pontiac Turbo Trans Am, which is a cool looking muscle car, uh, which has a turbo kick to it. So, uh, I will show you. Here's what it looks like this is a standard Trans Am, but with the turbo. So, uh, Here it is with the open hood or bonnet. Um, right here. Uh, if I zoom in, uh, like so, this part right here, what I'm pointing to, is the turbo. So that's a huge turbo this thing has. I wonder how much horsepower this would even have. That's what a standard one. It would have like, I think, three hundred or so. Two hundred and forty-five. Are you kidding me? Basically, they concentrated more on torque than power. It's a bit weird, but whatever. Whatever. I mean, I mean, it's all right, but. Weird. Anyways, uh, let's just move on. So, uh, where was I? So, the GMC Cyclone. The GMC Cyclone is a high performance, high performance version of the uh, GMC Sonoma pickup truck, produced in 1991 by GMC, along with Production Automotive Services, which stands, which is PAS, which stands for Production Automotive Services. The same company, the same company credited, credited with building the famed. 1989 Pontiac Turbo Trans Am. The GMC Cyclone was the fastest production truck for 1991. Following the Cyclone's production, the similarly powered 1992 to 1993 GMC Typhoon uh, SUV. Here it is. It's basically the same as the Cyclone, but it's got a... a a shell on the back. So the GMC Typhoon SUV was based was based on the GMC uh, Jimmy platform. Here it is. Look at that! Like uh, this, that is all murdered out. I like the look of this. It looks pretty cool for me, basically. GMC Jimmy platform. Also following. The Cyclone, uh, the 1992 GMC Sonoma GT truck. So, uh, the 1992 GMC Sonoma uh, GT, here it is. It's basically the same as the Cyclone, but it made it like into like a track car almost. I don't know. Or maybe drag racing, who knows? So the uh, 1992 Sonoma GT. So 1992 GMC Sonoma GT truck was offered as a sports package with the looks of a Cyclone, but without the price and performance. So, yeah, but without both the price and performance of its uh, turbocharged predecessor, only only 800 and 806 Sonoma GTs were produced. And what I do always for every single video I do is overview. That's, 
I say it like I'm in a commercial. I don't know. I wish. That way, you know, for people who do commercials, they would make money. There we go. All right. So, overviews first, as usual. So, the manufacturer is by uh, both GM, which stands for General General Motors, and PAS, which stands for Production Automotive Services. So, it was the manufacturer. Next up is the production. Uh, production is from 1991. They made uh, 2,995 of those in 1991. So, yeah, 2,995 trucks were produced in 1991, and only three trucks were produced in 1992. So it's kind of weird. How could they make more trucks in 1991 than they did in 1992? I mean, it's kind of weird. I mean, if you would have made, like, extra two, you would have run it up to, like, 3,000. That was quick math. The way I would do is I would take 2,995, and plus three, 2,998, plus two, 3,000, or just take 2,995 plus 5, 3,000. That's a lot easier. But both ways kind of work the same. Two ways in one simple math, in one simple math equation. In one simple math equation. I don't know why I'm doing this, but it's kind of funny. So, well, for me, like, basically, it's kind of interesting to do. So, production, well, it was in 2,995 trucks were produced in 1991. And three were produced in 1992. Uh, body, body and chassis next. Uh, the layout is a front engine four-wheel drive or 4W, 4WD, which is short for, for short for four-wheel drive. Four-wheel four-wheel drive. I can't even say. I can't even talk properly. Four-wheel drive. There we go. It's related to four GMC cars and one Oldsmobile. Uh, it's related to the GMC Typhoon, Sonoma GT, uh, the Jimmy, which is also, which also uh, is based on the Chevy S10 Blazer, and the Sonoma, which is based on the standard uh, Chevy S10, and the Oldsmobile Bravada. So I'm gonna go to the uh, those. Tr I was gonna say trucks, but. Well, uh, uh, blazer. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know. This, this truck, these, these cars are awful. Look at this. How awful are those? They're just terrible. I thought the blazer was supposed to have this kind of classic... 60s, 70s look almost. This one, uh, I, I don't know. I can't really explain this. Really, I, I, I just can't. Oh my god. This one, however, um, these ones look, um, all right. I'll show you. These ones look pretty cool. I mean, those ones are just better. Whereas the 80s, 90s. Ugh. God, they look kind of bland, like a normal car almost. Whereas the 60s, 70s, they've always been classics. And we also got the Oldsmobile Bravada. So I'm gonna get that up now. Oh my god, are you kidding me? No, this is worse. This is worse. I'm going to show you this, guys, and I'm going to look like, because this car is bleh, awful. Like, this is terrible. Oh, my God. Can't, can't, this, can't this thing get worse for American cars? Why do they make such boring ones like these? No. 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 Why, man? Why? Is it necessary to make those cars? Is it really? Like, as a European, oh, I talk an American, is wrong. It just doesn't look right. It looks just like a, no it just looks like a normal everyday car, which is, nobody would even use. I wouldn't really use that. But 
60s, 70s wise, I would kind of use those. Because like I showed you, those ones were better. Whereas the 80s, 90s. God, no. I would avoid that. Like, I would rather run away than having to see. Than having to see one of those cars. Ah, no. Like, honestly. Why do they have to do something like this? This is just ridiculous. So, yeah, the... Those are related to the GMC Typhoon, Sonoma GT, the Jimmy slash Chevy S10 Blazer, and the Sonoma slash Chevy S10, the standard one, not the Blazer. And then we got the Oldsmobile Bravada. Man. Powertrain, though, is, our, is like pretty cool. The engine is a 4.3 liter um, uh, LB4 turbocharged V6, so that's pretty cool. The transmission is a 4-speed 4L60 4L automatic. Can't really get one with a manual, because I think they do it only in the automatic. It's an engine 4.3 liter uh, LB4 turbocharged V6. And the transmission is a 4-speed uh, 4L60 automatic. Dimensions is next. Uh, wheelbase is 108.3 inches. 2,751 millimeters. Uh, uh, the length, the length is, um, 180.5 inches, which is, uh, 4,585 millimeters. The width is 68.2 inches, uh, 1,732 millimeters. The height is approximately 60 inches, which is 1,524 millimeters. The curb weight is 3,521 3, pounds, which is 1,597 kilos. It barely tips a scale of like 1.6 tons. So. By 3 kilos less, it's like 3 kilos lighter than like 1,600 kilos approximately. That was a quick math. Just do 1,600 minus 3, you get 1,597. I'll say in a faster way. 1,597. There we go kilos that is that's right 1597 kilos uh next up is the production run the gmc cyclone typhoon and sonoma gt were built by both gmc and pas uh, which stands for production automotive services of troy michigan and sold through uh dealerships so yeah sold through dealerships at the at the time it was introduced, the Cyclone was the fastest stock pickup truck being produced in the world. Auto magazines compared its acceleration favorably to a variety of sports cars. So of sports cars including So sports cars including the Chevy Corvette. Uh, and in a memorable comparison test in Car and Driver magazine, a Ferrari 348 a Ferrari, Ferrari 348 TS. I'll show you. Here it is. I'll bring it closer. Like, do you think it looks kind of the same as an F355 Ferrari? Because for me, it looks exactly like... I'll bring it closer. Focus. Focus. I'll just click on a picture just to, just to show you. There we go. Here it is. Don't you think it looks like an F three five five? To me, it looks like an F three five five. It literally looks exactly the same as almost kind of identical ish, kind of the same as an F three five five Ferrari, but still a fantastic car. Fantastic. So yeah. So. Uh... Car Magazine, a Ferrari 348 TS. The Cyclone features a 4.3 liter uh, turbocharged <coughs> LB4 uh, V6 engine with, an, with a 4-speed uh, 4L60 automatic gearbox and an all-wheel drive uh, driveline uh, system and 4-wheel uh, anti-lock anti -lock brakes. Both the Cyclone and Typhoon uh, trucks feature a Mitsubishi TD, a Mitsubishi TDO6 17C 8 cm squared turbocharger and a Garrett's water 
and a Garrett water slash air intercooler attached attached to a 4.3 liter LP4 V6 turbocharged that is an engine featuring upgrades that included a uh, uh I can't really say this word properly I'm gonna have to use the translation app so I'm just gonna type it in Uh, hybrid tactic pistons, modular uh, iron main uh, caps, upgra upgraded uh, head gaskets, intake manifolds, exhaust manifolds, so intake manifolds, exhaust manifolds, and a 48 millimeter, 48 millimeter, 48 millimeter, uh, 48 millimeter uh, twin bore throttle body from a 5.7 liter Chevy small block V8. That's pretty cool. All Cyclones and Typhoons used the 4L60 4 speed automatic gearbox. A Borg Warner 4472 all wheel drive transfer case splits torque um, with 35% of, of the power going to the front and 65% of the power to and 65% of power to the rear wheels. Both trucks featured sports modifications to the standard suspensions. The Cyclone was the first production truck to receive a four-wheel uh, ABS or anti-lock braking system. With this engine, the Cyclone produces 209 kilowatts, 283 PS, 280 horsepower. That's like the same power up as a it's the same power output as an R thirty two as an R as a GTR R as a I can't talk as an R thirty two R thirty three and R thirty four GTR. So two hundred eighty two hundred eighty horsepower, and three hundred and fifty pound feet. That's pretty cool. Good amount. Uh, <coughs> four hundred and seventy five newton meters of torque. So that's a pretty good uh, torque amount. That's a pretty good amount of torque for a truck like this. That's pretty cool. The Cyclone, when it was new, uh, was capable of accelerating from zero to hundred kilometers an hour, zero to sixty miles an hour, zero to sixty miles an hour in four point three seconds, and could do a quarter mile run in thirteen point four seconds at one hundred and fifty eight kilometers an hour, which is ninety eight miles an hour. Round it up, it will be up to one hundred and sixty kilometers an hour, which will be approximately one hundred miles an hour. Say so yeah, one hundred and fifty eight kilometers an hour. 98 miles an hour according to a uh, car and driver's uh, comparison test so car and driver's comparison test the cyclone both the cyclone and typhoon's uh gauge cluster that's right a uh, gauge cluster is the same one as used in the pontiac sunbird turbo so i'll take a look at that at the car uh, where is it? Sunbird. There it is. Pontiac Sunbird Turbo. Now this one, uh, I don't know. Um, uh, it looks looks all right. I mean, I guess. I mean, at least it's a turbo, so that's pretty cool. To me, I think that it looks cool. What do you guys think? Comment below what you guys think of the car. I know some people disagree. Others people would, others would agree. But you know, I mean, what can I do? Fifty fifty will be good. Who knows? Um. So both the Cyclone and Typhoon's gauge cluster is the same one as used in the Pontiac Sunbird Turbo. Which was discontinued in 1990, so the start of the early, so the start of the early 90s, uh, one year before the Cyclone was introduced in 1991. The 1991 the Cyclone was only available in black, so you can't really get in in any other color. No offense, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, that was the only color that 
That was the only color that they got, really, for the truck. The 1981 Cyclone was only available in black. But here's a little clue. Here's a little clue. In Forza games, you can actually change out the color of the car. But it will get rid of, like, you know, the decals or something. I don't know. I can't remember. So if you go... If it's not manufacturing colors, it would only have one color. But if you go to, like... If you go to like the other color selection, you can choose any color you want for the car, for the truck. Why do I keep calling it a car? It's, it's a truck. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. So yeah. Um, it's only available in black. But in Forza games, you can change the color. For the upcoming 1992 production, uh, a wider range... A wider range of colors uh, was to be offered. However, the cyclone was cancelled before full production can begin. So what's the point of doing that? In total, 2,998 cyclones were built. Right, it up as close to 3,000 cyclones were built. Out of the 2,998, right, it up as almost 3,000, only three were built in 1992. The first uh, 1992 cyclone that used for the DOT crash test for the DOT crash testing, uh, well, so the first 1992 cyclone was used for DOT crash testing, uh, while the remaining uh, two are pri privately owned by private private owners. Next up, we've got uh, the Saudi cyclone. That's right, the Saudi Cyclone. I can't talk. Saudi Cyclone. There we go. During the nine during the nineteen ninety one uh cyclone uh production, roughly a hundred and fifty cyclones were officially exported by GMC, the company that did the truck. Out of the hundred and fifty trucks, there were an estimated one hundred and thirteen desig not designated de destined for resale in the Middle East and were modified with a metric dash cluster len uh leaded fuel chip and a resonator resonator in place of the catalytic converter. These one hundred and thirteen trucks were shipped to Saudi Arabia to be to be sold as export sales. Uh these one hundred and thirteen trucks were known as the Saudi Cyclones. So that's right. Uh, these 113 trucks were known as the Saudi Cyclones. Not all of them exported. Not all of the exported uh, Saudi cy Cyclones were sold immediate, immediately overseas. Uh, out of the 113 uh, Saudi Cyclones, 31 trucks remained unsold and were eventually brought back to the U.S. So, in other words, 82 of them were sold, uh, so 31 were shipped back to the U.S. So, 31 out of the 113 uh, Saudi Cyclones, 31 trucks remained unsold and were eventually brought back to the U.S. <clears throat> so, 82 were sold, 31 were brought back to the U.S. Rather than selling the one... Rather than selling the 31 trucks to the public, GMC set up a lottery where employees could enter their name to be drawn to have uh, the chance at purchasing a Saudi Cyclone as a significant as a significantly uh, at a significantly reduced price of twelve and a half so twelve and a half thousand dollars at a significantly reduced price. $12,500, which is a good amount, 11,666 euros, which is also 10,226 quid, and had to take, and had to take, and had to take delivery through a dealership. It's already, not already, sorry, uh, it's alleged that not many, not many employees, no, not many employees knew of the lottery uh, to purchase one of the uh, Saudi cyclone Saudi uh, cyclones, so almost everyone who entered 
uh, got the chance uh, to buy one, which upset a lot of GM employees uh, in various other divisions who felt they missed out. The remaining 16... The remaining 69 trucks were distributed throughout Europe for sale. So throughout Europe for sale, where a small number ended up in a German compound for some t- for some time. GMC, desperate to get, desperate to be rid of them, sold them on a on a make us an offer basis. Lucky purchasers managed to get hold of one for a few thousand dollars under their market value. In 2009, a poor condition GMC Cyclone was scrapped under the U.S. federal government CARS, C-A-R-S, which stands for Car Allowance uh, Rebate System, a.k.a. Cash for Clunkers, as they, as they would call it, uh, despite being uh, highly collectible. Alright, I'm going to take a break right now. Um, I will be back with a part 2 video on this truck. God, sitting like this forever just hurts my back, literally. So I'm going to take a break, and I'll be back with part 2 for, uh, <clears throat> for the for the special special editions and so yeah um so uh, I'll be back <clears throat> with a part two video so if you guys like part one like and subscribe comment below what you guys think Hit that notification bell and hit all so you're learning when I make new uploads. And I'll see you guys soon in a little bit for part two. Stay tuned, guys. I'll be back soon. Peace.